Can the Arlo solar panel supply enough power to charge up my Arlo Pro wireless security camera? Let's find out. Hi, this is David of tech for baba a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome! Please consider subscribing. Today I'll do a quick unboxing of the Arlo solar panel go over a simple installation and share if it can charge up my wireless Arlo security camera enough so I no longer need to swap out its rechargeable battery. I've set up the Arlo Pro security cameras a few years ago. I like how Arlo offers free 7-day cloud storage. These security cameras are wireless and rechargeable, so it's easy for me to install them anywhere I want. The only maintenance needed is to swap out the rechargeable battery with the fully charged one when it runs out. The battery in most of my cameras lasts about 2 to 3 months. Of course, everyone's use case is different, so how long the battery lasts depends on how often the camera is triggered. I'm hoping by adding the solar panel, the camera will be maintenance free for the most part. Before we open it up to see what's inside, know that this particular solar panel works with Arlo Pro, Pro 2, Go cameras, and security light. Arlo has a similar solar panel for the newer Arlo Pro 3 and Ultra cameras. I'll put the links to both below in the description. Opening it up. There are manuals in different languages, safety and warranty information. A little card that says protected by Arlo. And the solar panel with the charging cable already installed. There's a mount and the mounting screws. And there are wind brackets for different Arlo cameras. And a few USB port caps. An extension bolt for Arlo Pro and Pro 2 cameras if needed. The solar panel and the power charging cable connectors are robustly built. They should hold up well outdoors in the elements. Installation is straightforward. The hardest part is finding a good location to mount it. The solar panel should be near the camera up to 6 feet or 1.8 meter away with the supply power cable. The solar panel needs to be mounted in an angle facing towards the sun to get as much sunlight as possible. Once the location is determined, just attach the mount to the wall and screw the solar panel to the mount. To connect the power cable, remove the USB port cap in the back of the camera, slide the right windbreaker onto the cable, and connect the cable connector to the USB port of the camera with a firm press. The wind bracket may not be needed depending on how your camera is mounted. Here's how I have it set up on one of my cameras in the backyard without the wind bracket. This camera's battery level was at 34% before the solar panel was installed. After one day, the battery level came up to about 61% with the solar panel. It reached 100% in about 3 days and stayed there since. I'm happy with the results so far. Of course, we are in the middle of the summer when the days are long, clear, and bright with sunshine. It's the best scenario for the solar panel. I'll update in the description below when the cloudy, rainy, and short winter days arrive. The solar panel retails for $79.99 US dollars, which isn't cheap. Lately, it's been discounted often to $59.99 in the link below, which I think is more reasonable. Especially if you have a camera installed high up or somewhere hard to reach. So changing the battery often is just a hassle. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please smash the like button and share. Leave a comment below and let me know your experiences with the solar panel for wireless security cameras or if you have a newer and better wireless security camera I should try it out. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cherish each moment.